Right now, well, we've gone to Lisa Sprayer so that we can spray off these weeds. I'll show you it in a minute. But we've still got that field over there, which has got weeds growing in it now. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, we can get to this field this way. Yeah, so, um, we got that field to... to bail up. And we've got to do some grass cutting today. Now, this sprayer is pretty heavy, and it, it shouldn't be, really, because... It's only a little one. See? Not very big. Well, that's the one we've got. Cheap as chips, if it was. Cheap as chips. Anyway, we've already got the old uh, herbicide stuff in it. And you'll have to bear with me because I'm not the one that usually does this type of rubbish. It's usually John that does the spray, spray stuff. But, anyway, let's get this rubbish out. Like I said, it's only a little one, so it's not very wide either. But it should do the trick. We get all these nasty weeds sprayed off. Which actually shouldn't really take us that long. It's very clever how they die immediately. Not too often you get weeds that just die immediately. Look, there's no weeds down this bit here. I reckon we could just do it like this. Hey up, what's going on here? Oh right, I forgot. Sticks out back, doesn't it? it? Appears to be a tree in the way. That'll be alright. Nothing to worry about. That's a splendid job. Even if I do say so myself. Pan it round like this. Maybe we'll do the old headland. Looks alright. Should have shut that gate. I'll have to shut it before I leave field. Hey, yep, missed that one. We get back into the corner. That'll be alright. Have that weeds. Right, yeah, so what we've got to do is we've got to cut that grass field over there. I don't think we've got to do this little one next to us. Yep, nearly took out the tree again. Go on. Spells it beats doing it with a hoe, doesn't it? Mind you, they've got their uses. Right. Can we do this in a one hour? Of course not. Of course not. Oh, good grief, man. We're right in the middle of it all. We're missing them both sides. Try it again, David. There we go. Are we there yet? Nearly. Spin you around again. I don't know why John likes doing this so much. Yeah, 
Anyway, that's that silly rubbish done. I spells what I should have done. Hey, look, we finished by the old uh, gate, but we can close it. I spells what we should have done, really, is uh, not wasted anything, but I don't care. It's not what I do. I spells we could cut this. I've not been told to, though, so I'd better not. Now, so I only get into trouble. Right, put that horrible thing away. So that was done. Put this horrible thing away. And that's that done. Splendid job. Right, let's get the old JCB. Come on. That's it. Right, we're gonna put these things on. I do like the turning circle on this tractor. It's got four wheel steer, you see? So it means that we can do things like this. Without any issues. Anyway. Right. right then. Let's have a go at this wonky old gate. Close your eyes. You're about to see something impossible. Anyway. Right. I mean, he didn't think about that too much, did they? Anyway, let's get in here. Apparently, this thing rounds it up as well. How big is this wheel? Good grief, man, it goes all the way around here. What's that all about? There's no need for that. Which one? That one. I'll unfold that one first, then. Alright, look at that, it's got the old things on the back, look. Can we have a look at them? So it's got the belts, the old grass will shoot out to the back, and then it will channel it all the way along, and then down into here, and fire it on to the road grass cut by the old mower at the front. That's how that, that jalopy works. What are all these levers? Height adjustment, I would imagine. Anyway, shall we get on with it? That's what I thought. Hey, up. That gate open? Yeah. Well. I can't go any further forward. There's an invisible wall. Righto, let's get on with this then. patches, I don't think I care that much to be honest with you. 
I have come to the conclusion that there is going to be an awful lot of development work for electronic tractors, battery powered tractors, because and although this isn't real, they're going to have to produce an awful lot of power to be able to power these type of machinery on the tractor. Now, this is struggling to power these. Now, I don't know whether the development of this particular machine um, actually thought about that whilst they were doing it. But, uh, if they did, then they, they got it spot on because that's got no power whatsoever when it comes to cutting at all. Anyway, we've done, so that's all that matters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these off and we're going to put that baler on and we're going to go and bail that field, I think. Or, actually what I might do is I might go and bail this straw field first and then we can uh, experience three fields in one day. How about that? Sounds genius to me. I don't know. I do have some genius ideas every now and then. A lot of people would disagree with you. With me, I should say. Or you, depending on whether you like me or not. If you don't like me, I don't care. At the end of the day. Because I probably wouldn't like you. So there. Uh, yeah. Any road. Let's have a go at some of this. What are we gonna do? We're gonna unfold it. And then we're gonna drop that down. Turn it on. Everything's so quiet. I think that would make more noise than that. Any road. Is that actually working? They seem to be going rather fast. It's silly, ain't it, really, when you think about it. I bet when it picks up that grass it won't go this fast. I bet it struggles. Yep. We're going all over it, shop. Doing like 300 miles an hour around here. It's unlike, unlike farming to me. Well, it likes bailing, but it doesn't like cutting grass. Ridiculous. Well, actually, I rephrase that. It likes bailing straw. I haven't got to the grass yet. That's going to be a nightmare. I can see it now. I don't think I've ever bailed so fast in my life. This is just ridiculous. Let's get this row down here. Had a few stoppages here. There's a big mound. Let's see what happens. Does it slow down? Nope. Just plows on through. How rare. I like doing Mario Kart. Slaloms of Mario Kart. Where's the banana peel? Anybody know? Oh, there's a bale there. Good grief. Just sprung it out of the back. Don't even realise that you're bailing. Just racing round the field. Anyway, well, I suppose. I better get on with it. For the giggles and all that, you know.
I suspect there's some skullduggery going on here with this baler because it's, it's got a very wide pickup on it. So, there is the likelihood that it has been slightly modified just past having some sort of sticker on it for Seabear. I reckon there is some dodgy modifications going on to it which would deem it illegal in FIA terms. No racing for you, Baylor. Anyway, let's just see how it gets on with this grass. Yeah, well, it's not even batting an eyelid at it. There's some dodginess going on here. Still, it's all good fun, I guess. All in the name of fun. Anyway, we got uh, yellow bell wrapping cling film. So we're going to have yellow bales all over the place. They should have got two balers. One with green and one with yellow, and then we could have had John Deere bales all over the place. Just to make a statement. You know, it's the right thing to do and all that. Anyway, I suppose this is going to take about 30 seconds. And we'll sit back and enjoy the yellow wrapping of bales, shall we? Definitely the fastest ruddy silage baling I've ever done in my life. They do look rather fancy in the yellow, I have to say. So, that must be done. Aye, aye. Turn you off. And you lift it up. That's it. What's going on here? Nothing, it's all done. Good stuff, right. Turn it off. That's it. Thank you very much. Here we go. We'll put this away. And then I think we'll call it... There's deer everywhere. I wonder if any of them are called John. Ha! <laughs> ha! John dear. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be here all evening. Anyway, let's put this away. I find it rather unnerving that this baler is still making noises when it's not actually turned on. That looks like a good enough spot for me. Shut up now, anyway. There we go. So I think what we'll do is we'll get the old uh, bale cart on and then we'll be ready for our journey into abyss. That's right. Use the slowest loader in the world to load silage bales. Oh, the joy. Anyway, that will be that for today. Thank you very much. I suppose I better be a little bit more professional today. 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, Wednesday, top seeds. Anyway. Well, that, yes. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure to bring my adventures to you on this wonderful summery afternoon and if you didn't like it you can shove it right up here